This is why I started Surplus Funds. Hey guys, what's going on? Spencer Van here and super excited about today's video because not only am I gonna be sharing a personal story with you about why I started Surplus Funds, I'm gonna be sharing some of the biggest benefits to having a Surplus Funds business, but I'm also gonna be challenging you. You know, there's a lot of you guys that watch these videos every single day when we put them out. You guys comment, you guys are awesome, and I absolutely love all of you guys, and I wanna hear your story. So um, if you watch this video and you're inspired by this and you wanna share your story as to why you started Surplus Funds, I want you to upload your own version of this video and uh, share it with us. You know, send it to us, share it with us, post it on, on YouTube, on social media, and um, maybe we'll pick someone that posts all those to win something special. I don't know, maybe we will. I would love to do that. Um, but with that being said, make sure you like this video, of course. Comment your thoughts down below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, let's jump into it. So when it comes to starting surplus funds for me, um, it really started way before I even learned about surplus funds. So the reason why I got interested in real estate in the first place is I was 16, I had a broken ankle, and I, at that time I was like, I'm going to the NBA, and then, you know, I couldn't even walk for six months, let alone play basketball. So I was like, maybe I'm not going to the NBA, right? And I kind of brought that to my mind. I was like, holy crap, I gotta figure something out, right? And I slowly kind of got interested in real estate. Um, as I got healthy, I started going to real estate clubs, started reading real estate books, and eventually I became obsessed with real estate when I was still in high school. And so I, I still have it to this day. I have this red notebook, a spiral notebook, about 70 pages, and literally every page front to back, I filled out with different real estate investing strategies, wholesaling, subject to investing, commercial wholesaling, retail wholesaling, fix and flipping. I mean, literally every single strategy, I looked on the internet, found out about it, took detailed notes, like tried to learn everything I could to why I filled up this notebook. And by the time I filled it up, I was like, you know, Number one is I think I know everything there is to know about real estate. Like I know all these different strategies. And number two is, you know, I now have this resource and I'd bring it with me everywhere I'd go because I was so excited I'd show it to people and, and all that, right? Well, fast forward a couple years later, I was out of high school now. I was, you know, graduated. I had got my real estate license. I had been making some money in real estate, nothing crazy. Um, but again, I felt at that point, I was a couple years into it. I was like, man, I really know what's going on here. I felt like kind of an expert, even though I'd only been in it for a couple years. And I remember I went to a real estate meetup hosted by my mentor and now business partner, David Church, uh, wonderful business partner, um, absolutely love working with him. But anyway, I went to one of his meetups and he had a, a guest speaker um, come in and talk about surplus funds. And you know, I would just go to every meetup, so I wouldn't even look at the speaker. So I just showed up and was sitting there and he starts talking about surplus funds and you can give money to people and you can make a percentage of it. And I'm like, what, what is this guy talking about? Like what? So I'm, I'm running through that notebook. I'm like trying to find where I'm talking about surplus funds where I took notes on and I'm looking everywhere. I can't find it. I'm like, oh my God, did I not know about this? Like, I, you know, call me, call me a fool, I guess. I guess I didn't know, right? Not knowing that really no one else knew either, right? And he goes on and on and on for like an hour. All these successes that he's helped and da, 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 da. And um, afterwards, you know, I spoke with him. You know, he kind of gave me some of the insights into it. I was like, oh, this is crazy. And then I, I spoke with David, and I was like, David, have you heard about this? He was like, oh, yeah, I've done some deals. I've done some surplus fund deals. I was like, really? That's crazy. And so he kind of taught me the ropes and um, ended up just getting started with surplus funds. And, and honestly, um, I remember after kind of learning about it and thinking about it for a little while, I was like, dude, this is way better than wholesaling. Like, it's not like it's a little bit better, like it's way better. Um, and at the time, like my main thing I was working on was wholesaling deals. And then, you know, a little bit of real estate agent stuff too, but for the most part it was wholesaling. And I was like, well, what am I doing? Like I could, I could just do surplus funds. Like, well, you know, what am I, what's even the point? Um, and the biggest reason why I like surplus funds more than I like wholesaling is number one is, um, you know, it's a much more ethical business, right? You're not trying to, you know, pitch someone on selling their house for half off because they have to get out and they have no other choice, right? You're not trapping someone into a corner to have them make a bad decision. Number two is, it's a lot simpler of a process, right? It's like, I call you, you agree to let me help you, I get you under contract, and I just submit that contract and I get a check. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot easier than wholesaling where I have to convince you to sell your house to me and then I have to sign a purchase agreement with you saying I, I gotta give you some money up front as an earnest money deposit. Now I gotta go turn around, take that contract and try to sell it to someone else. And then they're gonna try to, oh, we'll give you 10 grand for it. And then they'll just wait until the contract's gonna expire. So I gotta find someone else and sell it for five grand. So I just lost five grand. And it's just a nightmare, right? Surplus funds is like, dude, you just sign it, 
send it in, get a check. <laughs> like, it's way, way, way easier. And then the third thing is I realized, I was like, dude, no one's doing this. You know, if you look at the Google Trends for wholesaling, uh, it's gone exponentially up over the last three to four years, right? Surplus funds is just starting. I mean, it's been around for a while. There's definitely been people doing it, but it's, the hype is not there yet, right? And I say yet because now's the time to get in, right? If you're on the fence, if you've been watching these videos but haven't really taken action, you're not, you know, the way that successful people look at um, opportunities is like a window. It's a closing window, okay? And successful people realize that that window is not going to be open forever. And it might be open for a day, a month, a year, or 10 years, but eventually it's going to close, right? And if I have not gone through that window or gone through that door before it closes, then I got to find another way, right? And so you have this opportunity right now to get into the surplus funds, you know, get through the surplus funds door while it's still open, while it's not over competitive, while it's not oversaturated, while there's a lot of money to be made. And if you're sitting on the sideline right now and you're not going all in on this, that means there's a problem with one of three things. Number one is you don't believe in the process of surplus funds. Number two is you don't know how to do it, which hopefully you do if you're following me, right? And number three is you don't believe in yourself, right? So it's one of those three or a combination of those three. Okay, but at the end of the day, this is a this is a closing window. This is a closing opportunity, and you got to get in now because, quite frankly, it's not going to be here forever, right? So hopefully, this um, you know sheds some light on you guys. I would love to hear your story of what interests you with surplus funds, why you got started in surplus funds, and would would love to hear from you. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. Uh, and comment down below and of course hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because once per month we do a uh, live stream where we give away some free mini courses um, and with that being said i'll see you on the next video